security rise you complain about unemployment rise yes. you complain about the fact that oh we are hungry rise we say we want to protest rise you say oh you you don't have uh, medical facilities rise you say you don't have good schools and good teachers rise we say minimum wage rise it's rise i guess it's no longer news at this point that the protests they end bad governance pro protests otherwise known as the hunger protest has become violent in some parts of the country, especially in the north, while in some other parts of the country, like um, Lagos, the western, you know, part of Nigeria, they have, you know, made deliberate effort to make sure that the protest does not turn violent so that the law enforcement agency will not have an excuse to now start, you know, shooting tear gas and, you know, shooting people up and down. I guess what we can say that we have learned a lesson from what happened during the answers, how, you know, thugs hijacked the pro protest and started vandalizing people's properties, started stealing, started using the opportunity of a protest to steal. Whereas in the northern part of the country, probably because, you know, most northerners, pardon me if, I, if you feel offended, but the fact is most northerners can be categorized as uneducated, thereby not really knowing the impact of their actions of destroying government property. Because last, last, this government property is still your property. So if you are destroying them, it's going to affect you directly or indirectly in some way. Before we go into the details of today's news, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section as well. Breaking news, angry protesters set lawmakers' houses ablaze, loot valuables, some Nigerian youths have begun to attack properties owned by political leaders amid the ongoing nationwide protest against hardships and bad government in the country. In videos seen on X on Tuesday, some youths were seen burning a mansion built by a serving House of Representatives member Nasifi Sani Gomel, representing Gomel Maga, Magatari Sule Tan, Tankaka Gagarawa Federal Constituency. The youth accused the lawmaker of neglecting their constituency after his election 14 months ago during the last general elections. You see, this is, these are one of the issues. You know, you, you win a ticket, you win an election, pardon me, to the Senate or the House of Representatives and you refuse to go back to your constituency. These are the people that voted you in in the first place. You know, some people would even collect money, you know, to, to for projects in their constituency and they would not even go back there. And that is the end of it. The election day is the last day some of these people from their constituents will see them. That is the last time you ever see them come back until the next election. That is when they will come back and start, you know, buying rice. You know, governments or politicians these days, they seem to think that rice is the solution to all our problems. You know, you are protesting, take rice. You are demonstrating, take rice. You say end bad governance, take rice. You say we are hungry, take rice. Every every single thing, every single problem you raise against the government these days, they seem to think rice is the only problem. Rice is the only thing they can give the citizens, you know, to appease them. In a similar incident that happened in Yobe State, another set of angry youths attacked a, serving, a current serving senator's house 
for allegedly siphoning public funds meant for the development of his district. President Bola Tinobu's administration had also revealed that there are about 150 new computers and laptops inside the looted office of a Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC Industrial Park in Kano. While I'm against any form of violence, I'm against any form of looting, stealing, and what have you, or what not. I somehow support the burning down of, you know, the, the houses of these lawmakers because where did they get the money to build the houses from? Is it not from looted funds? Is it not from money that they allocated to themselves? Like money that, 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 that they did not work for, that they just allocated to themselves. Let's share this money. They seem to be sharing money every sitting, as disclosed by a power bill, who would say time and time again that uh, you will see an email there is a gift for you. There is a gift waiting for you there so that you go and use it to enjoy yourself during the weekend. Moving on. According to Sarah reporters, the newly constructed facility was vandalized by unknown people masquerading as protesters last Thursday. The Ulums also looted a series of properties. However, a separate group of protesters wearing green caps with the word peace engraved on them intervened and chased away the perpetrators. This is one thing I like about, you know, these end bad governance pro uh, protests is the fact that people are making deliberate efforts not to allow thugs, you know, to take over the protests from them and also not to allow violence to overcrowd the whole thing. Because once violence starts, the government will say, oh, now we have no option than to diffuse the whole situation. They will start, you know, reciprocating with violence as well, saying that they want to diffuse the whole situation. And especially now that, you know, since the address of a, of a president, the police has said that no protest anymore. Protest has been banned in Lagos, you know. Protest has also been banned in some other part of you know, the, the, the country, because they feel that since the government has addressed you, so you have no, you have no, no problem anymore. The problems have, the, the problems have gone poof because the president has addressed you. Although there was nothing said about what he's going to do about the Onga issues. The only thing we saw was rice. <laughs> they were giving out rice as if rice is is the permanent solution. Giving out rice is the permanent solution. I think that this government should have an emergency meeting. The federal government, they need to have an emergency meeting and think about both short-term and long-term, you know, solutions to the problem of hunger and hike in prices of, of food in the market. Because it's so terrible I was saying today that spaghetti is now sold for 1500 <laughs> Like, beginning of this year, or was it last year, that spaghetti price increased from maybe 200 naira to 500 naira. We were shouting that, oh, that's a lot, that's too much, that's this. The inflation rate is mind-blowing. Like, I, I did not see this coming at all. Nobody thought that we'll be in this mess. It's so sad. Photographs obtained at the scene show numerous individuals making off with stolen items including furniture, electronics and equipment from the NCC office. Speaking on the incident, when he appeared on Channels TV on Thursday night, the Minister of Digital Economy, Bosun Tijani, said the facility was completely vandalized by the miscreants. He said, I think from the top of my head here, I think we would have between 120 to 150 computers, both PCs and laptops in there. In fact, what was missing was the generator needed, a few more works, and also the power backup that needed to be in the space before we could start using the computers. That was the last thing the contractor supplied, and we meant to do... We, we meant to do to put it in use, but this is part of what we get with protests. The last report I got was actually from an aide to the governor, who is the gentleman 
that we have been working with on the official launch next week. And he had to reach out and say they may need more security officers to help. It's quite sad because this is a facility that has been put in place to help the lives of the citizens of that state. And now all of the equipment that were, that was, that were newly bought has been carted away by purported protesters because I'm not going to call them protesters. These are people, you know, that are as purportedly protesting against bad governance, whereas you are stealing and you're looting. Are you not part of a problem? You are also part of a problem. If you are stealing and, you know, cutting away government property and you say you are protesting, no, you are not a protester. You are just a criminal, plain and simple. Before we go, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online. Israel says, who knows that such things were there? Maybe the same government has turned around collected their things back because from the look of things going on, this government does not have any good intentions for its country. Kayode says your money would be used in putting them back. All you looted, all you did are against the will of God Almighty. Many may have died wounded or imprisoned. Okay, you claim the word is hearing. Since what has the world did on your previous noise making be wise? Bob Emmy says, if they like, let the northerners burn themselves to ashes. Wow. They build this country more than any other region. Boari ruled for eight wasted years, yet the north did not see anything wrong about it. We rather divide this country than for the northerners to dominate this country. Musa Tijani says, I blamed former Momo president Buhari for every misfortune Nigeria is experiencing now. And again, we should all know that an average Yoruba man is also a greedy man. Hmm. Is that true? Aremo Ibrahim lastly says, federal government has been vindicated when DSS said it has gotten intelligence reports of some protesters planning to cause violence. We masses said it was a lie, an attempt to stop us from exercising our rights. Look at it now. Why burning houses after claiming it was going to be peaceful? I have been saying it several times that both leaders and followers are the problems of this country. I think it is right now, it is it is right time now for security agencies to do the needful criminals everywhere. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. I think it's not this uh, looting during protests is not only limited to Nigeria, because even in the UK where protest is going on currently, People are busy looting, looting shops, you know, cutting away things and so on and so forth. Although the degree might be a lot lesser than what is happening in Nigeria currently. But notwithstanding, because in Nigeria, the reckless abandon in which people just go about destroying government property is so sad. The other day, I saw a video of two people. <laughs> they climbed a traffic light. They started removing it. I say, hey. Traffic lights, see. Kuma, hey, wonder shall never hear. Nigeria, my country. Like I said, you all leave your opinions and your comments in the comment section below. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.